I wanted to share with you guys what I often do. So I have eggs shells over here that I saved. This is just a couple days worth of eggshells or maybe just a week. And then I made banana bread last night. So I saved up the, um, the banana peel and then I placed it here yesterday. And I'm just gonna be very careful because it is a rose bush. And rose bushes love your eggshells and your bananas. So the eggshells are for nitrates and bananas is for the potassium that it needs into the soil. And then I just just work the soil a little bit. And then I get, I'm just gonna do my hands, but I get my eggshells, place that in there. And this is why when you guys see me vlogging, you might, you might see the, the eggshells on the ground. It's because I, I let it dry up a bit. You see how it easily crumbles up because it's been a few days. And I tried to put this into the food processor, but actually I, I didn't like it because I think it's just that it's such a porous material. I didn't want to ruin my blade. So that's good. And then I have a couple more over here. Show you guys. Especially for the winter um, or the fall. It's now fall. But I have these miniature roses, and then I'll just add that in there. And it's just good natural nutrients um, for the, the plant. That one. And then here, here's one that I'm trying to um, make survive. I bought this off of a clearance and it was really really not doing so well I think I got it for like a dollar or two dollars but um, it did produce um, some some roses during the summer but I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there work the soil a little bit so that it um, penetrates into the soil and then I'm gonna water it and that's a good natural way to um, to fertilize your roses 